Good morning. Started my day off at Casey's because they do these like free offer things. So this morning was a free Celsius. Next stop was Acres. And I got <laughs> a huge bag full of harvest stuff, as in clothing. So we got jackets, shirts, hats, all sorts of stuff. Thanks, Acres. Appreciate it. And the next stop of the day is at the Farm Service Agency. So the question that I get asked probably more frequently than any other question is, how do you start farming? That's an excellent question. It's kind of a difficult one to answer. Um, so at the beginning of the year, I guess the question I'm going to answer is like a money question. So if you're not really interested in the money side of farming, skip on ahead to the action part of the video, okay? But I'm gonna talk about the money for just a little bit because they're doing stuff for me in there. So at the very beginning of the year, I fill out a ton of paperwork with the FSA office, Farm Service Agency, and I give them a full balance sheet, cash flow sheet, and I walk them through my expenses for the year and what I think I'm going to be able to make. And then I submit that for their approval. And then if I get approved, I have an operating note. So they give me a certain amount of credit based on how many expenses I'm projecting. And then I use that money to get through the year. So that's what I pay my chemicals, my seed, uh, fertilizer, crop scouting, all that kind of stuff. Because farmers can't really make any money at all throughout the year unless they have a side hustle, like maybe selling seed or chemical, until they sell grain. And you can't sell grain until it's harvested and you can't harvest it until it's grown. And so you really can't start cashing checks and paying for stuff at the end of the year. So until I have a good amount of money built up, which it's pretty much impossible to have enough money to start farming at one point, just because it takes such a large amount of capital to start, um, uh, the Farm Service Agency is providing me with a line of credit to start my farming career. So for the first couple of years, they'll kind of uh, bankroll me for the growing months. And then after harvest, I pay all the money back with some interest. Uh, so it's kind of like a short term loan, but it's called an operating note because the money, that's what I use to operate my farm. Anyways, and so anytime I get a check, like I just got a little check for, I had some hail damage. So I turned in that claim to insurance and they just paid me some money. But the FSA office pretty much has like a lien on any income I get. And so until I can't uh, deposit that check until I get their signature on it too. So long story short, I'm at the FSA office so that they can endorse my insurance check. <laughs> I hope that wasn't too confusing. If you have questions, drop them in the comments and I'll try to answer them in a later video. All right, so while I'm waiting for the check to be endorsed, ready? There you go. Just a little bit of mascara to start out the day. Check is endorsed. Now off to the bank to deposit it. Okay, the morning's errands are done and so is all the morning's paperwork. I will say again, you guys, I really don't think you'll ever be able to truly understand how much paperwork goes into farming. But I have very exciting news. This is a long awaiting moment, you guys. Irrigation season is over. You heard me right. We are not watering any more crops. It is such a relief. It feels so good. That means if irrigating is over, we're not watering the crops anymore, it means that harvest is upon us. So it's time to get out our corn head and our bean head and the combine. So exciting. All right, don't mind the seed tenders over there. We're not looking at that. Let's look her over here. Okay, with the forklift? Oh, okay. Okay, I can do that. Got the grain cart here, corn head, and draper head. So you may have noticed, we have a green grain cart and we pull over the green tractor, John Deere that is, what is this color, red? That is because we actually run a case combine. Finally, we're doing some work on Monday. Oh, 
Always make sure to have a ball attachment for the end of your forklift plates. Forklift blades? Forklift spears? Forklift forks? I will say, this is the first fall that I've ever really been able to have been a part of the whole fall season. Keep in mind that this is my first fall without school. So last year I came back most weekends to help with harvest, but now I'm able to go through the whole prep of things. I've never done this before. It's kind of exciting. So whenever I'm waiting for dad, for example, I'm waiting for him to mow this little spot so we can move the trailer back. I've been trying to kind of jog around because I signed up to do this really long run. Like I think I'm running like 10 miles in total. And I just realized that it's maybe two weeks away and I have done just about this much training. So just doing some light jogging while that is some mowing. <laughs> Are good. Out comes the bean head. This is a 35 foot Macdon draper head. Flex draper, I guess it's called. We just got this last year. Anyways, like I was saying, we have a case combine. This is a 2012 7230, and it's treated us pretty well. We like it. Uh, the reason Did you say 2009? 12. 12. Yeah. Uh, the reason we've been able to hang on to this so long, I think, is because we really only harvest about half of our acres by ourselves. Remember, we grow seed corn, and seed corn we do not harvest. So this field right here, we will have seed corn pickers come in and custom harvest it. And I will, of course, film that when it happens. But for now, we are going to be hooking this up to bean head. I have never done this before, but dad said it's pretty easy, so I guess we'll see. five minutes. That was incredible. Now pulling the combine in the shop so we can open up the top. And look at that. It's a perfect fit. Also, can someone tell me why we still aren't finished putting together the split row planner? Come on. Don't worry. It's supposed to do that. Good morning, everyone. I am getting the semi truck ready for harvest. I have vacuumed out the cab, washed the windows, greased the whole undercarriage, everything. And I'm doing the same on this one. So if you remember a while back, Laura had a question about which glass cleaner is best. And so I have cleaned this side with off-brand Windex, trying to get all the bug spots off, but you know, it just wasn't quite doing it. So I remembered what all you guys said and probably the leading comments was John Deere glass cleaner and newspaper. So I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of shop towels and off-brand Windex to newspaper and John Deere glass cleaner. I will let you know the results. Okay, this side was John Deere. Oh, you can see a little streaking right there. That's probably, oh, there are some bugs in the corner. That's probably operator error, but did a Pretty good job. Less streaking, but more bugs. That's the off-brand Windex. Overall, I think I'm gonna have to give the winner to the John Deere glass cleaner, but I'm gonna have to give the winner to the shop towels because the shop towels seem to soak up the bugs more. Uh, so I think the winning combination is John Deere and shop towels. Newspaper is definitely a cheaper option. 
And the off-brand Windex is definitely a cheaper option, but I suppose you get what you pay for. And there's your uh, farm hack for the day from Grant. Thanks for watching. Just did a quick run to the grocery store. And after that, another stop at the bank to pick some stuff up and then stop the accountants and then go meet Grant and work with him for a little bit. You can't slow me down. I'm always moving. Hello. Hi. Where are you at at Harvest Prep? Uh, ready. You're ready to go completely yeah, and totally? Uh, well, green car took up. Well, actually, come on, I'll show you. I gotta shoot. We have one thing to do left. Okay. All right. You can just tell me on the way. All right. Fill me in. I actually hooked it up. Okay. And I found a bulge in the tire. Yeah. <gasps> Look at that. Dude, so what do we have to do? It's been rubbing on the... We gotta change the tire. Ooh. I'm not gonna do it. That sounds terrible. So yeah, we gotta fix that. And then this ready to go, truck's ready to go. Bins are ready to go. But we just gotta hook the head. We gotta hook the head up to the combine. But as you probably remember, I've done that already. So it's all ready to go. We just put everything back inside so it's not sitting inside. Okay, so, nice. I might be harvesting beans this weekend. That's exactly what my dad said. Uh, we'll see what happens here. But first, Husker Harvest Days. Be there Wednesday, the 15th. We're very excited we'll to meet everybody there. there. In hat and sunglasses, you'll have to look really nice <laughs> But we'll be saying hi to everybody <laughs> there. Awesome. All right. Green cart, all looking all ready to go. Mm -hmm. We'll be harvesting before you know it. And that's a wrap for today. Thanks for following along. I think maybe, uh, maybe not the next video. The next video will probably be Husker Harvest Days. Um, and then we'll probably do a video picking up the head, the reel, it's almost done. That's the, that's the thing we have left for your harvest prep. It's picking oh, up the corn reel. Forgot about that. Then I'm thinking we'll be harvesting. So. And see a time lapse of us sweeping the shop. Now I've said it in the video, it's gonna happen. <laughs> I have two brooms. <laughs> see you guys later.